hello guys hello my family welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl again Pesh warrior in case you are new to my youtube channel you are welcome and thank you guys for subscribing for sharing and supporting me all through welcome to my video so guys today i have a sad story of a thrift of three kids two boys and a young girl of 10 and before I tell you the story, uh, I want you to look at this feet of this year, big brother here. They are attacked by Jigas very, very bad. He has been attacked by Jigas. For those who doesn't know what Jigas are, Jigas are a small parasite that enters in human body because it relies on blood. It sucks blood of a human body. It makes someone to be very uncomfortable because the it, it leaves a lot of oats, swollen, itching. You can't even sleep because you are itching yourself all the time because of that parasite that's inside you. But these jiggers are blot. They are, they are mostly because uh, of that. That if you are if you don't clean yourself well. Of all, if you live in a dirty place, it's more likely that you'll be attacked by jiggers. So they love someone who doesn't bathe. So the life of this family it's a bit sad because here I have a ten years old girl. This ten years old girl is a mom of this family, and the reason why I say she's a mom it's because. She is the one taking care of those two big brothers you just saw. Because they are mentally ill, they can't speak, they can't even say anything, they can't do anything, they can't do anything for themselves unless they are told to do something. So this girl is a mom of these two big brothers and they live alone. The reason why they live alone is because they don't have a dad and their mom left them a year ago promising them that she has went to find a job so that she can get something for them and until then she has never called she has never come back she have never sent anything for the kids and that's how they found themselves living alone so the story is a bit sad because this girl has to do a lot just to make sure that the big brothers have eaten something all are okay. This girl currently she 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 is in class six, but she does go to school because the head teacher uh, told told her to always go to school even without school fee. But now the challenge is that she doesn't have anything to cook or to eat or to take to school to eat during lunch. The anger in this family is big. They don't get something to eat mostly because the girl when she is out of school she has to go and beg from the neighbors for something to eat because she is the mom of these two brothers. When she begs for something which she doesn't get in every day, she come and cook for these two big brothers and make sure that she they eat. She has to get out of school, go to the forest, get some firewood because the brothers can't help in anything. She has to come back, wash the utensils, clean the compound, Sometimes uh, she begs the brothers to wash their feet, which she, they don't agree into, they refuse. So as you can see, the girl is very sad because she loves the brother very much. She loves them very much, I could tell. She even cry when they don't have food to eat. She better sleep without anything but the brothers to eat something. So this girl is really, really a, big, a good sister to these two big brothers. She still have hopes that one day their mom will come. So right now she is preparing to go to school. And this is how she does it. 
she just wash her face her hands and the feet and that's all this is just because she doesn't have anyone to guide her she doesn't have a mom who will tell her it's good for a girl to bathe to take a shower so this is how she does it she just she's now ready to school and she doesn't have anything at all to carry like food she doesn't have food at all to carry she told me before leaving to school she has to make sure that she has boiled some water and she told me that that water is what these two brothers take as their breakfast when she left so now she is trying to get some fire out to boil some water for these two brothers to drink that is what they take for breakfast because they don't have any tea they don't have anything and until the girl is back to beg for some food they will just stay like that without food so the girl when she is out of school she come learning very fast so that she can go begging for some food she told me sometimes she can even go to the street find something in the garbage some leftovers and bring to them so guys come inside the house where they sleep this is where they sleep the girls sleep on that couch and the boys sleep on this bed without a mattress you can just imagine it's a very painful story guys i even cried after seeing this it's a dirty house without anything and as you can see this is where the girls sleep the boys doesn't even have something to cover themselves like a blanket and as you can see the door is they don't have a door the house doesn't have a door it's broken you can see that is the door down there so when they go to sleep they just pick it and cover it just a little bit which is a bit sad that a small girl of 10 years can sleep in a house with two big brothers who are mentally ill and with a open door house it's very sad guys so guys if you can see my video please 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 do something i beg you my followers i know you are there do something try to help this family and as you can see the girl is crying right now she is crying a lot because she really love her brothers so in my video i'm going to leave my number in case you want to help this family i'm going to leave my number there you can contact me and i promise i'll bring something for them because they really need help and thank you guys for watching